I'm in it for keepsake, in a fail with the What is good, y'all? Carlos the Kicks here, back with another one, and I am <sighs> so excited for these. Can't wait to open them up with you, show them. I'm so excited for these. People hated on these, and then all of a sudden everybody wants them, because of course they sold out. But let's get into it. Ooh. I'm so way too deep there. Oh man. So we have, as you know, oh my goodness, look at that box. The box got a little dent in it. Pisses me off already, but let's get these out of here. I love the uh, yellow box top with the blue bottom. So clean. Uh, oh boy, oh wow. Oh, look at the blue on the inside of the box. Damn, I love it. The wrapping paper alone. I mean, granted, I've seen pictures of these. I'm sure you guys have seen pictures and video of them already. But this, this packaging paper, whew, wow, it's so dope. Let's see if that one looks good. Yeah, that one's a better view. Damn, that's sick. All right, let's take a look at these bad boys. Just the cleanest. Again, let me let's, let's just get them out. Let's get them out, man. All right, uh, let's let's talk about them. These released on August 29th uh, through Union's website. They released alongside three other uh, shoes, uh, two other silhouettes. They had uh, another Jordan Four in the off noir colorway. Um, these retailed for two hundred and fifty dollars. The uh, the drop wasn't too bad. Um, I mean, I'm sure a lot of people took L's, but I, it seemed like there was a lot of people who got W's on these, and luckily I was one of them. I, man, I, uh, I'm so excited to have these in hand. They also released with a ton of different clothes. Uh, I was lucky enough to get the uh, t-shirt in black, so hopefully uh, that will be coming fairly soon. I wanted the white long sleeve that has the uh, Jordan hands, this on it as well, if you guys have seen it. The Rumor is that the other three colorways uh, are going to re-release on September 30th through the Sneakers app. Uh, again, the rumor is the Guava Ice colorway, this one here, was exclusive to Union uh, and was only was only sold through their website on August 29th. Uh, I really hope the Deltas re-release because I'm a big fan of those and the more I keep looking at them, I just, I gotta have them. A ton of people were not fans of these when we saw early pairs or uh, early pictures of these. Again. Probably a few gripes that people had with them, but the biggest issue that I seem to, to find in, to be honest, I was a little hesitant as well, was the was the tongue. From the early pictures, all we could see was that the tongue looked like it was cut or a lot shorter than normal for what we'd see on a standard Jordan 4. But we saw more pictures closer to the release date. Uh, we got a little more explanation from Union's owner, Chris Gibbs, who explained that he did the tongue this way because that's how he used to rock them. He'd fold them over so you could see the Air Jordan branding, which is normally upside down when you have the tongue up. So hearing his backstory and hearing that he put his personal touch on there with the tongue, you know, how he used to rock it was uh, was pretty cool. And then we saw pictures, of course, where people uh, removed the stitching. So the stitching on the tongue is removable and then you could fold it up to have the full Jordan 4 tongue on there, which looks cool. Uh, once you remove the stitching and put the tongue up because you have a Jordan Jumpman in red and then the Union logo right above it as well. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna keep them like this for a while because I feel like once everyone gets their pairs, all they're gonna do is remove that stitching and put the tongue up. And uh, this is honestly growing on me, so I, I like that it's folded over and I can always remove it if I want in the future. I just can't put it back, right? So I'm gonna keep it like this. So there's quite a few, you know, modifications, changes done on this pair compared to a standard Jordan 4, right? One of the biggest things that we see is this mesh on the toe box. Um, so that isn't necessarily standard to a Jordan 4, but I love that meshing on there. Uh, you also have the mesh behind this yellow netting on the shoe as well. Along the toe cap, we have a tan suede, which feels super soft uh, and has, a, in my opinion, pretty amazing quality. It's not very thick or hairy like you would see on some suede. It also kind of follows along the whole side of the shoe and the rear of the shoe. I like the tan, it's almost like a 
tan or peach colorway, but it looks super cool in hand. I feel like the camera or pictures might not be able to pick this up really well as far as as far as the colors on this shoe go. But really, I mean, in person, they they look amazing in my humble opinion. <laughs> uh, following up the shoe, we have a red lace crown at the bottom and at the top, a blue lace crown. Uh, going into the laces, they come with a standard off-white or sail lace on them, already laced up, which I think looks great. As you can see uh, on the right shoe, we have the extra laces there in yellow, which have now come pretty become pretty synonymous with Union and their collabs. I almost wish they would have also given us a two-tone lace like the Jordan 1s came with, but you know, the more I think about it, I, I don't know what color I would have wanted it. The white and black just wouldn't hit on this pair like I did on the ones, so uh, I'm happy with, with this, you know? And I'm definitely gonna keep that sail on there. The yellow, I feel like it's just too much for me, although it matches the yellow bubble that we have there on the midsole and it matches the Union LA tag that you see there. Uh, I like the sail color, so I'm gonna stick with that for a while as well. Uh, one of the other biggest changes compared to a standard Jordan 4 here is the wing. So we have a kind of translucent wing on there. Normally we'd see a, a cutout in the wing right about there, but these are just a solid wing uh, topped by that blue crown, lace crown there. Uh, I like that it's semi-translucent, but and I, and I like that it doesn't have that cutout. It just makes it a little bit different. I know some people you know, are talking about cutting that out or cutting off the wing, but I don't plan on making changes to these. People who you know cut up their shoe or do all that, even if I had a pair that had something to cut out, like a like an upper to cut off, like like the Travis Scott Dunks. I, I'm not doing that. If it happens over time, let it be. But I'm not a designer. Let them let them speak for themselves. I think they did an amazing job with these, and I'm gonna respect their vision. You know, I like that they have this removable stitching, and that's something that you can make a little more unique to yourself. Leave one down, leave one up. But again, I'm gonna I'm gonna let the designers do what they get paid to do and rock them like that. Getting to the uh, rear of the shoe, we have a red red meshing along the heel and then along the back side. And along the back, we have a blue heel tab with the red Nike Air on that. Thank you for giving us and blessing us with that Nike Air on the butt. Just love it. So the tongue as well also has that yellow netting uh, on top of the mesh that you see on the toe box. The midsole and outsole have this vintage yellowing color, which is an awesome touch. Uh, we also have a yellow air bubble to match the Union branding tag as well. Overall, I, I really think that Union and Jordan brand did an amazing job with these. Uh, this is definitely my favorite colorway over the off noir colorway, which is basically black. Uh, I feel these might be a little harder, to rock in a fit. Uh, I'm definitely gonna try my damnedest and get as many fit picks as possible. Follow me on the gram. Uh, but the Off Noir color is probably gonna be easier to wear or to rock, of course, it's just black. It's probably gonna hold up better over time. And this suede's probably just gonna get super dirty and collect hella dust. Uh, so you definitely wanna spray that down with some sort of protector. But overall, again, I think the they really did an amazing job with this shoe. A lot of people are gonna hate on it, a lot of people still hate on it, but it's just because it's not traditional styling. There's some subtle changes to it that people are gonna hate on. But I understand these are not for everybody, so let me know how you guys feel about these. If you went for them and got a W, uh, if you prefer the Off Noir, the black colorway, uh, instead of this colorway, let me know down below. But I appreciate you all for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button and that subscribe button. Uh, and comment down below, you know, again, let me know how you feel about these. If you like this colorway, if you like the Off Noir colorway, or if you're just sick of Union and Jordan altogether, then let me know down below. But I appreciate you all for watching. Please do not forget to hit that like button and that subscribe button down below. It really goes a long way to help me keep doing this, right? Trying to, trying to keep it going. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.